Hello and welcome to our Surf tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to set up a supplier in Surf correctly. So when you log into Surf, you'll see your dashboard and you have two options for setting up a supplier. You can use the Create New tab across the top and select Supplier, or you can click on Purchases on the left hand side and select Suppliers. This is your supplier homepage and this shows your list of suppliers as well as the balance due to them. Now we've not entered any suppliers yet, nor have we entered any purchase invoices. So there's very little information on this page. However, after we set up a supplier, you'll see them show on this page. And likewise, after we enter purchase invoices on the how to set up a purchase invoice video, you'll see that there's a balance due. So if we click on add a supplier, we'll be brought through to enter the general information and invoice settings for this supplier, similar to entering a customer if you've previously watched our setting up a customer tutorial video. So I'm gonna pause this video, enter the information, and then show you what it looks like from there. So you can see here we've entered in our supplier name, our contact name of that supplier, their address, and their email address. So under invoice settings, you can see that there's credit terms here. This would normally be the credit terms that are determined by your supplier, as opposed to credit terms that you would determine yourself. We have the supplier's VAT number. And then we also have the option to put in our nominal code. So we've done this for our um, accountants. So you can see here then we would use accountancy fees. We're gonna leave our VAT code at 23%. And you have the option to enter bank details there if you want, but that's not something that you have to do for Surf to work correctly. So we'll hit save. And again, we're brought into our supplier homepage. As you can see here, um, we've generated a supplier code with the first three letters of the supplier's name, three numbers, the supplier's name, and we have a balance of zero as we haven't raised any invoices yet. So I've quickly entered a second supplier there, which is Ireland Electric. However, I've left out some of that key information for that supplier. And the reason I've done that will become clear during our how to enter a purchase invoice tutorial video. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful.